all right so it's already been one month of me documenting and studying machine learning the video is kind of late but here is what it is here is what i did this week i started off by classification overview by having an overview of the chapter and the things that i'm going to study i start by getting to know the terminology and why not using the linear regression solution on these kind of problems and the alternative better solutions like the logistic regression, linear discriminant analysis, quadratic discriminant analysis, naive bias, and the k-nearest neighbors, as always. And why they fit better, the classification problem that we have at hand. Right after that, I started digging deeper into logistic regression by getting to know the sigmoid function and its relationship to logistic function, and why even using the sigmoid function in the first place which led me to studying the probability versus odds and why using odds fits uh, uh, helps us have the logistic function and the solution for this kind of problem and after that same as linear regression we uh, i studied the estimating for estimating the logistic regression coefficients and uh, all the derivation related to it which uses the maximum likelihood which also led me to studying the maximum likelihood and its key differences between the probability I spent kind of a day or two just focusing on these topics to get to know what maximum likelihood and its key differences its key differences uh, to a probability right after that I studied the multiple logistic regression which uses multiple predictors and uh, the multinomial logistic regression which uh, predicts more than two classes so yeah, our response y will have more than two classes. We use the multinomial logistic regression. The concept of baseline in multinomial regression and uh, why it doesn't affect uh, choosing any class as the baseline for our other models in uh, the multinomial regression. And right after that, the co-founding versus collinearity and what co-founding variable means and how to deal with it. And right after that, I went to generative models for classifications uh, here we care about how our data X looks like and what class would generate data similar to this observation X we have okay so yeah I start by revisiting the bias theorem and uh, trying to link to link it to machine learning uh, I've wrote a special note on uh, my github if you want to check it out I also studied the linear discriminant analysis and the discriminant functions and what makes a function discriminant and also the difference between the LDA and logistic regression and after that linear discriminant analysis for one predictor <coughs> and just after and after it you will easily understand the, the LDA for more, for more than one predictor uh, more one blah, 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 okay and you will easily understand the LDA for more than one predictor so yeah after that, uh, I did some derivations on the mean and the variance for the uh, for the LDA. As always, I have went deep into the math and the theory. So yeah, and I'm still studying the quadratic discriminant analysis and the naive bias. I still have uh, the k nearest neighbors and uh, the general uh, linear models to study. But yeah, I like to you know spend a lot of time on this chapter studying the theory and understanding the fundamentals of it uh, very well so yeah and I did some linear regression uh, as you heard I've made the video about uh, linear regression with the man which made me uh, kind of comfortable with it using it to visualize my math uh, formulas and equations with, with pretty graphs and animations which you know really helps the intuition and uh, the understanding so yeah if you want to check it out the video is in the description I've also used the stats model library for Python to, you know, fit and try to, you know, use some dummy data to get to know the linear regression on the applied side more. But yeah, I've did the, the practical exercises on the book also. And when studying the maximum likelihood estimates, I've linked it with the least square method, which is just a special case of uh, maximum likelihood estimate for, uh, uh, for a parameter. So yeah, I've also rewrote some uh, notes about uh, the residual sum of squares and the least squares method using the maximum likelihood. And yeah, the newfound uh, knowledge made me, you know, link a lot of stuff between the linear regression and the logistic regression and why 
maximum likelihood estimate is one of the most important concepts on statistics and uh, machine learning so yeah my plans for uh, next week are gonna be uh, making a video about the linear regression implemented from scratch without using uh, any library just numpy uh, and pandas i will also try to finish the chapter 4 chapter 4 classification and also make make a generalized study about the linear models that have been studying this past month and i will also try to start chapter 5 which is called the uh, resampling methods and make a review for all chapter 4 and also chapter 3 i think maybe a video about them and probably uh, at the end of the week i will make a video uh, what is linear logistic reg regression in five minutes using my name the same as i did in uh, linear regression but yeah uh, at the end uh, don't forget to start my github and i will keep posting the code more derivations more details more theory and yeah maybe in the future uh, i will also post in the future implementation for uh, all the models that i do from scratch and uh, the manim uh, animation code so yeah thank you for watching and see you next week